Joke overview. 看笑话 To sum up, an over fifty-something-year-old woman dresses up every day. She often dresses like a teenager. One day, she met a famous author at a party. You are an esteemed author. Can you guess my age? Asked the woman. The author answered, "My dear, your childlike manner of speaking is as a fourteen-year-old girl's. Your cute behavior is as a sixteen-year-old girl's. Your youthful style of dressing is as a twenty-year-old girl's." The woman was very happy. She wanted to give the author a big hug. Could you please precisely guess my age? Asked the woman. Sure, just total the three numbers I mentioned before, answered the author. <laughs> Key words: 学词语宴会 banquet. 宴会，宴会，高兴 ，glad， 高兴，高兴，宴会。高兴，宴会，高兴，宴会，高兴。Make a sentence. 学句子，很高兴。认识你的儿子，他很有朝气。I'm very glad to know your son. He's full of vigor. 很高兴认识你的儿子，他很有朝气。认识你的儿子，他很有朝气。Review， 复习，宴会，高兴，很高兴认识你的儿子。他很有朝气。To sum up, an over fifty-something-year-old woman dresses up every day. She often dresses like a teenager. One day, she met a famous author at a party. "You are an esteemed author. Can you guess my age?" asked the woman. The author answered, "My dear." Your childlike manner of speaking is as a fourteen-year-old girl's. Your cute behavior is as a sixteen-year-old girl's. Your youthful style of dressing is as a twenty-year-old girl's. The woman was very happy. She wanted to give the author a big hug. Could you please precisely guess my age? Asked the woman. Sure. Just total the three numbers I mentioned before," answered the author. <laughs> Do you understand? 你明白了吗 
In the previous lesson, we discussed the human stories and paper cutting compositions of auspicious Chinese characters. In this lesson, we will discuss animals, birds, and flower paper cutting. Let's take a look at Chinese animal paper cutting. In Chinese paper cutting, we will often see compositions of the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac. We can take these 12 animals and make a skillful arrangement into a sort of family portrait. For example, a family with a father and mother and children, we can use their zodiac animals to make a composition. On the top, we can put a full character meaning happiness. This is another way to represent the happy family in a sort of family portrait. This kind of paper cutting is widely enjoyed by the people. Let's take a look now at a piece of the 12 animals of the zodiac from the National Museum collection. This set of paper cutting was made by my sister Sun Dalin. Let's look at the Chinese rat. Each animal is accompanied by the fruits they like. This piece cheers people up. Viewers appreciate the endless happiness of each animal eating and drinking. This rat is eating peach and pomegranate. Peaches represent long life and good health. The pomegranate represents plentiful grandchildren. This is an ear of wheat. Wheat is the rat's favorite food. Now let's look at the next animal of the zodiac. The next zodiac animal, ox. Above the ox, there's a magpie. A magpie represents a joyous occasion. When the magpie is flying from above, a wedding is on the way, or an unexpected fortune will arrive. Next is the rabbit. This rabbit was the most inspired work of my sister among these animals. When she held the scissors and the red paper, she began to cut and her mind was subtly open and especially clear. She did not know what to cut or which design to choose. As she started cutting, her extensive training helped her handle this awkward situation. Sometimes when we are beginning, we take the scissors and the paper and follow our endless imagination with countless designs in our mind. This can be the best time to open our imagination. Let's look at this rabbit. The eyes have a bright spirit looking straight ahead. I named it happiness in front of our eyes because it is looking ahead at a nice vista. Next, the tiger. The tiger is looking backwards toward the sun. This is called blessed by a lucky star. Next, the dragon, the totem of the Chinese people. In the eyes of the Chinese people, the dragon and the phoenix is the luckiest symbol. The dragon paper cutting is the most venerated symbol. When we are cutting a dragon, we can pair it with a pearl or show the dragon with a pearl in its mouth. The pearl represents a treasure. A pearl is usually placed in front of the dragon or in the dragon's claw. Next, the snake. Next to the snake is a white lily. A lingy fungus is coming out of the mouse. Below, the frog is teasing the snake. Next, the sheep. This sheep is cut in a common shape often used to depict various sheep the mountain goat and the wool sheep, large sheep and small sheep. There is a Buddha hand fruit on his back and a pomegranate in his body signifying abundant grandchildren. Next, the horse. There are many shapes used to depict the horse. When two horses are combined, this symbolizes success and 10,000 horses full steam ahead. In paper cutting, horses are often used. For example, there is a task that requires success. A single horse paper cut is called achieving success.
Next, the chicken. A chicken naturally grows a crest. This chicken has a flower on its head that resembles the coxcomb. This combination signifies a young man's transition to adulthood. The hen below is connected to the small bird. Now there is the one-child policy. The little bird is not connected to a big group of birds. There is only one to symbolize having few children. The hen in the front is giving the little bird an ear of millet. This is the bird's favorite food. So the little bird receives his favorite gift. Speaking of the chicken, let's open the page to look at this chicken called the Wealthy Noble Chicken. This is a chicken I cut when I participated in a paper cutting competition in Japan. At first, I made a paper cutting demonstration. This chicken paper cut was also representing the year of the chicken. I made this during the year of the chicken. In the lower part of this chicken is a peony flower representing wealth and value. I was truly inspired to create. When I finished cutting, returning to Beijing, I received a letter from a Japanese friend with a full page stamp. Then I discovered the Japanese post had used my chicken for a postage stamp. Later, they also sent me a photograph of me working on this piece that was published in Japan. Shaving. <laughs> Xiao Yi's father has an advanced electrical shaver which shaves smoothly without noise. The four year old Xiao Yi often plays with the shaver and sometimes imitates his father's shaving, making everyone laugh. One afternoon, his father was taking a nap and he felt something clinging to his face and asked, Who is it? I'm shaving you, Xiao Li grinned as he replied. Hearing this, his father went back to sleep. When he woke up, <sighs> his father looked in the mirror and was shocked to see his two eyebrows were missing. Papa, what is our hump for? We store water in the hump. Papa, why are our eyelashes so long? Because they protect us from getting sand in our eyes. Papa, why are our hooves so thick? So we can stand still in the sand. Last question, Papa. Why are we in the zoo? <laughs> An overweight girl's confession. An overweight girl got off the bus and she looked upset. Her friend asked her what was wrong. She said, The bus was so full, the bus driver stopped more people from getting on. Then what? Then I received your phone call, so I got off the bus. I heard the bus driver say, Get on the bus! Now we have space for three more people. Next, the monkey. There are flowers and peaches we all know by now that the pomegranate and peaches are auspicious symbols. 
that signify beautiful blessings. The monkey is playing the pipa. Why is he playing the pipa? There is a saying that the year of the monkey brings good luck. Next, the dog. There are many dog forms in paper cutting. There are family dogs such as the German Shepherd, and there are miniature house dogs. There are many dogs in many styles. Today, let's cut a kind of house dog. It's simple and cute. Next, the pig. Of all the twelve animals, there is a rule that the pig should be round and fat and especially cute. A fat pig symbolizes happiness. In traditional Chinese culture, when we are cutting the animals of the zodiac, each animal should be portrayed as round, cute, and plump. There is a magpie flying near the pig. Around the pig, there are many kinds of flowers. This pig is looking full of confidence, full of spirit, full of happiness. This is another set of the twelve animals. This set of zodiac animals was done by my son Wang Lei. This next set of animals received an award of excellence as a winner of the National Tourist Products Competition. These cuts are made in a different style from the set we just studied, made by my sister. Each paper cut shows the artist's character. An artist's paper cuts are reflective of their personality and their experiences. The longer an artist practices, the more a personal style takes shape. These cuts by Wang Lei of the Twelve Animals of the Zodiac are rather detailed and fine, decorated in a strong style. The viewer can sense the innumerable skills contained in each work. This is a rat and the ox. Most of the meanings indicate luck, invoke blessings and show happiness. Now for a quick look through the animals to get a general idea. This is a tiger, a rabbit, a dragon, snake. This is a horse and sheep. The monkey here is in the tree holding a peach. When a monkey steals a peach, Folkways say this is a peach for longevity. The monkey king from the tail journey to the west steals a peach from the queen mother of the west. The peach is a fruit of immortality, so folk paper cutting offered as a gift to celebrate an elder's birthday. After the monkey, the big rooster, on his head there is a peony flower. This is the dog and this is the pig. You can tell by looking this pig is fat and adorable. In the back there are two copper coins. The pig is usually for door hangings called fat pig on the arched door. Below this piece shows a pair of lucky animals. Here we have a paper cutting of a rabbit and a rat placed side by side. This is a marriage composition. Next to the animals is an abundance of fresh flowers and grapes. Grapes symbolize numerous great achievements. The rabbit is in the front and the rat is behind. There is another allusion here. The rabbit represents the husband. The rat represents the wife. Standing behind the husband to follow and help. The surrounding flowers represent their beautiful prospects for the future. And that was the 12 zodiac animals. Here we have a work of paper cutting done in a new design style. This work is using the scene of a spotted deer. On top of the deer, a peach shape is cut, representing longevity. Above the peaches is a bat, representing good fortune. Below you can see a magpie. 
representing happiness. This piece of paper cutting, using all these elements together, is called a happy life composition. This expresses blessings for a beautiful life, for one's parents and for the elder generations. These are animal images. Now let's continue with flowers and plants. When talking about flora in traditional Chinese paper cutting, New Year flower paper cuts are ubiquitous in China. Everyone wants flower cuts in the window to express joy, excitement, and happiness in life. This piece is called A Hundred Flowers Contending in Beauty. There is another trade in Chinese paper cutting. We combine the flowers of the seasons, winter flowers, summer flowers, in a single piece. This piece of paper cutting takes the lotus flowers of summer, the plum blossoms of winter, the chrysanthemums of autumn, and the forsythia of spring, and joins them together. It is called A Hundred Flowers Contending in Beauty, or Four Seasons Welcome the New Year. This piece was done recently for a national paper cutting contest held in Inner Mongolia. At that time, I used the mountain lilies to represent Inner Mongolia. This piece is a large round work. I cut eight large mountain lilies into a single composition with a circular outline. The round shape in China represents success and reunion. So this piece represents blessings for success and reunion, and the name is called Brilliant Red Mountain Lilies Open. The next piece is called Wishes for Wealth and Honor. This is the piece for which I have won the highest paper cutting awards. I made this piece of paper cutting this year at the World Horticulture Exhibition in Germany. During those three days, I got a sudden inspiration to create this design on a large piece. When I returned to China, I happened to participate in the National Paper Cutting Contest. I chose this piece as my submission. I never thought this piece would win international awards. This piece is designed with an inner circle of peonies. On the outside, there is another ring of peonies. Two layers of peonies put together is called Generations of Wealth and Honor. The surroundings are designs representing good wishes. These good wishes represent all is well, or may your wishes come true. There are so many types and varieties such as windows designs and round designs. So today we will end our discussion here. If you want to continue studying, we can begin to learn the materials of paper cutting and the display of paper cuts and show you more about the art. So much for today and thank you. Healthy skin. After long hours of housework, a wife switched on the radio that her husband had bought for them, a soft voice said. If your skin is pink and your hair is soft, that means it is very healthy. The wife looked in the mirror and smiled. She decided to tell her husband what she had heard. The announcer started again. Thank you for listening to our How to Raise Pigs section. <laughs> Mistake. Hua Hua is three years old and he is very naughty. One afternoon, his mother put him in his bed in his room and then returned to her room. Ten minutes later, after hearing a noise from Hua Hua's room, she rushed back into his room. She did not find him, but she found his pants. Suddenly, she heard a noise downstairs. 
She went downstairs and complained, Are you running around without your pants? No, madam. I deliver the post and my pants are on, the postman replied. In a zoo, a kangaroo always escapes from its enclosure. After the kangaroo's caretaker brings it back, he raises the fence to a height of two meters. But the next morning, the kangaroo has escaped again and wanders in the zoo here and there. Then the fence is raised to a height of three meters, but the kangaroo escapes again the following morning. The frustrated caretaker raises the fence to a height of five meters. A camel in the next enclosure asks the kangaroo, at what height must the fence be built so you cannot escape? No matter how tall the fence is, I can escape, replies the kangaroo, unless the door is locked. To abide by the law. A police officer saw a driver pushing his car on the street. The police officer asked, Sir, is the car broken? No. Did you run out of gas? No. Then what's wrong? I realized that I forgot to bring my driver's license with me. <laughs> no compromise. After a quarrel, one couple slept separately and didn't speak to each other. On the fourth day, the wife sent the dog to her husband with a note. It said, Darling, I want to sleep with you tonight. There was no signature on the note. The husband wrote an answer and asked the dog to take the note back to his wife. It said, I do not sleep with a dog. <laughs> Idiot. In a primary school classroom, the new students are introducing themselves. The teacher asks the boy, what's your name? The boy stands up confidently and replies, my name is F. Fedor P. P. Petrovic K. 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 Kluokum. A clamor of laughter breaks out amongst his classmates. One of them speaks loudly to the teacher, sir, he is a stutterer. The boy shakes his head and refutes this. I'm not a stutterer. The man who registered my birth is an idiot. But my dad is. 